Helifino, world of magic, a planet that slaps you in the face with space Nazis killing werewolves through crucifixion while wild and insane fairies put crack cocaine in the water supply. And yet there are still verdant fields, lovely places, fields of grain in the city of Sprout, which is made of mostly humans. They'd be raised by trolls if not for their partner in crime to the north, the city of consequence. A city of corruption, greed, magic, and lore. A place where orc gangs battle against hobbit thief guilds in the streets, while the merchant district is an almost constant battle between dragons and microns over the price of spice and lace. Yet this city, this capital of Helifino, world of magic, is centered by the tavern. You may have heard of the Blue Moon Tavern. It's been used in a lot of books and media, but here it's real and it stinks of stale beer and rotten ass, with demons playing games of light my shit while pixies engage in wild orgies. However, this is a place of heroes, a vile, wretched place of scum and villainy that has somehow grown flowers from the waste shit mud of the worst of this world, so that legends like Havoc, Tears, Tempest, and Deloki are still spoken of in whispered tones. The drinks are free, so who cares, because we are swooping quickly back down south to visit with the woodland creatures of this fucked up world. That's right, we have Thistlemere, a city of tribes with no city or buildings comprised entirely of fawns and fae and nymphs who were systemically oppressed by monster for hundreds of years and decided to say a giant fuck you to the planet of Helifino and its magical bully assholes. And so they became a warrior society where the Smurfs commit secret nighttime murders and the wear bunnies throw themselves as suicide bombers at any perceived threat. But that's just one city in the south. Helifino also has Kilitota, where weird wizards come up with apocalyptic spells and scenarios for fun. But now we should head back to the east. The east is huge, so many cities. You have the entirely human city of Old Watch, which vacillates between being a Nazi anti-magic hate group filled with fear because every creature that lives near them wants to drain their blood, to being a fairly balanced normal society controlled by robots that hate you. Just south of that, you have Aurelis, a city one million years old. It's mostly ruins with new construction awkwardly thrown on top of it mixed with ancient curses. Relics, demons, and monsters that are interspersed with treasures of unimaginable power and danger. It's named after a child that keeps getting reborn and is full of weird cultists that worship the internet. Speaking of weird, we have the city of New Dawn. Everyone that lives there has no soul. What they have is an infinite darkness within them that ensures they will have no afterlife but will be unimaginably powerful in magic and lore in this life. They were created by the void, a thing that wants to end life because when they have children and they have many, many, many children, they are all born soulless and will also have no afterlife. Thus, slowly choking the gods of their powers because, why? Well, they were nuked and poisoned and now live underground as weird mutated insane creatures with the magic to destroy universes, but the culture of an emo with PTSD hiding under their parents' basement. But it's not all bad. Have you heard of Chivaloki, the great land of life in Gaia, the place where the tree of life lives and gives life unto its believers and even non-believers? It is a city of trees and grass and shrubs and love and songs and hippies naked and dirty dancing and singing. They live off the land, literally, sleeping in dirt and hanging from trees and being fed by the fruits of the ground and by the spirit of life. They are also ferocious warriors, sort of, and many can use life itself to grow weapons and armor and abilities, and some are even called the children of light, handpicked by Gaia herself. But they also do a lot of drugs, then we move farther west and end up in persistence. This is the city that life shit on. It started as a colony that was destroyed by an insane person and only survived because they were led 3,000 miles across hostile territory to found a new home on an island surrounded by sea monsters. This reject land has become populated by disreputable sorts and you will be robbed if you visit there. But there are also trade lords that will press you into legal slavery and crime gangs that battle routinely over neighborhood streets. The highlight of this city is of course the Red Sun Inn where you will find free food and drink and murder and crime and drugs and alcohol and anything else you can imagine. But that's enough for now. There is the swamp city of mutants, the chaos wastes of the desert, and the land where the werewolves fuck. But for now, we will conclude this tour of Helifino and return home.